U.S. Embassy was in Tel Aviv until President Trump moved the embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. That's really prophetic and there is a prophetic parallel in regards to what President Trump did. God spoke to me from the book of Ezra chapter 1. If you read the book of Ezra, it very clearly says in the first verse itself, I want you to pay close attention to see the prophetic parallel that is manifesting here in this passage. In the first year of Cyrus king, he is king of Persia. In order to fulfill the word of the Lord spoken by Jeremiah, prophet Jeremiah spoke and he told that the temple will be rebuilt. And here we see that the Lord moved the heart of Cyrus, king of Persia, to make a proclamation throughout his realm and also to put it in writing that this is what king of Persia says. So God is inspiring the king of Persia, that is Cyrus. What is God inspiring him to do based on the prophecy spoken by Jeremiah? Let's see this. The Lord, the God of heaven, has given me all the kingdoms of the earth and has appointed me, Cyrus is saying, he has appointed me, God, is, God has appointed me to build a temple for him at Jerusalem in Judah. This is really amazing, prophetic, marvelous. The same way how God inspired King Cyrus to go and help in building the temple in Jerusalem. The same way God inspired President Trump to move the embassy, American embassy, from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. And this is really an important prophetic parallel. Jerusalem was not recognized by many countries in Middle East. But God used President Trump to establish the embassy of America, U.S. Embassy, in Jerusalem, recognizing Jerusalem as the capital. This is really a prophetic parallel and also how God inspires the heart of a King Cyrus and then fulfill the prophecy. There are a lot of prophecy concerning Jerusalem. Jesus spoke a lot about Jerusalem and God is fulfilling many things and especially this one incident is something God inspired President Trump to fulfill his plan for Jerusalem and that's one of the puzzle to the plan. This is going to be a powerful season of God doing mighty wonders, marvelous things in your life. He is going to do extraordinary things. The words spoken over your life will be fulfilled in the name of Jesus. This is going to be extraordinary. This is going to be powerful. God is calling you for his purpose and destiny. Here King Cyrus, he listed out all the things that King Nebuchadnezzar brought from Jerusalem to this land where he was the king. So he told, these are all the list of items that was taken from Jerusalem. I'm going to give all these items. And also you, the people of God, give to the building of temple of God. And he encouraged and he led the people. And uh, this is really an amazing. I want you to read the book of Ezra and on and on. As you see, God is amazing to fulfill his purpose and destiny. His spirit moves in this nation, America. The Lord is going to revive the hearts of the fathers of this nation. There are patriotic fathers. There are prayer warriors. There are intercessors, prophets, people with heart of the father. The Lord is reviving the heart of the father in this nation, bringing the children back to the identity, back to father. I see the presence of God is moving all across the nation, America, like never before. God is going to do extraordinary things. The Lord is releasing his amazing fatherhood anointing upon the nation. You will see an amazing restoration, recompensation and reunion, oneness, amazing breakthrough will happen. Everything that the enemy has stolen from the nation will be restored back. The same way how Nebuchadnezzar nature brought all the things from Jerusalem, gold, silver and many other things. Everything was given back 
restored back. The same way the Lord says, everything that enemy has stolen from this nation, America, from within and from outside will be given back, will be restored in a powerful way. I, the Lord, will do extraordinary things, marvelous things, wonderful things, greater things are yet to come. This is going to be a powerful transition and transformation in this nation like never before. You will see the extraordinary hand of God bringing forth a sudden shift in this nation. Supernatural breakthrough in your life. The Lord is with you for you and no weapon formed against you shall prosper. No weapon formed against this nation shall prosper. The Lord is raising watchmen to intercede. There is power in prayer. There is going to be an amazing breakthrough. Supernatural transformation. Mighty wonders are going to happen. Nation-shaking anointing is coming upon you. The Lord is bringing divine connection. Last night God told me, I'm bringing divine connection in my people's life. I, the Lord, will provide them resources to rebuild, to re-establish, to rekindle the fire. You will fulfill the purpose of God. Every word prophetically spoken over your life will be fulfilled. Every promises are yes and amen in Christ Jesus. This is the season where the same way how God used in the time of Ezra, King Cyrus to encourage the people to come together and rebuild the temple in Jerusalem. The Lord is going to rebuild His purpose in your life, rebuild this nation America, rebuild and reshape your life and every brokenness is going away right now. Deliverance is at your doorstep. The Lord is going to vindicate you and vindicate this nation. It's going to be a powerful season of supernatural transition and transformation. I see that some of you, all your resources are freezed. You wanted to get things done for the glory of God, but the resources are in frozen status. The Lord is unfreezing some of your assets, some of your resources, some of the ability, potential. The Lord is unfreezing. He is going to provide you, supply you. You're going to fulfill. The same way how during the time of David when the temple was built and uh, Solomon built the temple, but God provided the resources for him to build the temple. Friends of David, King, they sent the things that Solomon need to build the temple. Today the Lord says, my son, my daughter, I will supply your need. I'm going to provide your need for building my kingdom, for re-establishing my purpose, for doing my kingdom work. I, the Lord, will establish my church through you, says the Father. His anointing is coming upon you. Grace is coming upon you. Powerful things are going to happen in your life. Those who are blocked in many ways, the Lord is going to unblock and bring forth a supernatural season of overflow and abundance. You are going to walk in the wellness of God and splendor of God. The Lord says, my anointing will cover you, my favor will grant you, and my anointing will bring breakthrough. Thank you, Jesus, for such a deposit of your glory upon your people. Mighty wonders to happen in their life. Thank you, Father. This is the seasonal blessing. Today, I asked God for a freshness and rain. Um, it was really an amazing time and a season to see such an amazing rain in your land. The Lord is bringing blessings, rain down in your life. It is going to flourish you. It's going to bring forth harvest in your life. All your dryness are leaving. You are going to be a watered garden. You are going to see the amazing splendor move of God in your life. I encourage you all to take a moment to subscribe this channel and share this video with others. And be sure to hit the thumbs up if you are blessed. Check out the links in the description about all the details. And uh, check out my store. And God bless you so much. You all are blessed to be a blessing. You can join Patreon and also my YouTube membership. You are blessed to be a blessing. Greater things are yet to come. God bless you. Amen.